So people are asking for an update on Tupac's health, and there hasn't really been any big updates, which is why I haven't made a video yet. But I figured I'd go ahead and make one because enough people were asking that um, I want to go ahead and answer the questions that everybody has. So I took him to the vet, like, not too long before I got Maeve. I got some x-rays done, all that good stuff. The problem is my vet is just not that familiar with toucans, so I've been trying to send those x-rays to, or rather, get my vet here to send those x-rays to somebody who's more familiar with toucans. And by the way, there are not that many vets in the country that are familiar with toucans. So um, I'm trying to get those higher resolution files to that person and unfortunately the my vet's just kind of taken too long so <laughs> which has been a little frustrating to me but I'm working on it uh, I do have the JPEG files of his x-rays that I might throw up in this video just so you guys can see because it's kind of interesting but um, we're worried that he might possibly have some issues with his muscles like weakness in the muscles because of his lack of using them for so long and also he could possibly have arthritis so he trembles quite a bit and for instance he I have him sleep in my room with me partially because I just think it's better for toucans because they sleep with their flock in the wild and I don't want them to feel unsafe or anything if they're not like with me because if I'm not around then they kind of just see that as a problem and I want them to feel as safe and comfortable as possible when they sleep and I think it probably helps with our relationship a little bit more but Tupac also falls off of his perch a lot so when he tries to move around like if he tries to switch positions or turn around he'll fall off and every now and then I'll hear I'll hear some fluttering at night and I'll have to flip the light on and get up and go pick him up and put him back on his perch, make sure he's good, and then uh, go back to sleep. So he he needs a lot of help from me, and I'm very grateful to have this job with YouTube and everything, and having you guys' support has just been completely instrumental in helping get him back to health. And, I mean, it's the perfect situation for him because he needs so much assistance that... If I had a normal job where I had to be gone throughout the day, it just wouldn't work. Um, I don't want to put him... He's not in an enclosure really ever. Like maybe when I leave the house, that's about it. Just so he doesn't hurt himself by accident. But he'll, he'll fall off and he won't be able to get back up. So, um, I don't know. You know, he's just... He needs, a lot, he needs a lot of work and he needs a lot of help. And he looks a lot better... And he's doing a lot better, but there's still a ways to go. So for those of you unfamiliar, he had Bumble on his uh, on the hocks of his ankles there. That little bending part right there. It kind of looks like a knee. I thought it was a knee at first, but it's not. So he had Bumble there, and that comes from um, him sitting on a dirt floor of an enclosure for just forever. and Or for I don't know how long. And it's, it's pretty common in, like, other birds like chickens. But he got that there, and that infection's pretty much cleared up. Like, he's good to go now as far as that goes. But he may have been, had prolonged um, – what am I trying to say? Basically, because of that, he didn't use his legs that often, and he could have inadvertently – weakened his muscles so kind of the same way like if someone stays in bed forever they like get really weak it's the same kind of concept so he may need some physical therapy or something along that line or he may just have arthritis or he could have calcified joints it's hard to say because somebody needs to the person that i'm sending those x-rays to needs to take a look at them in high resolution and get back to me but as far as that goes, um, as far as everything else goes, like his beak, I mean, his beak looks a lot better. There's still some areas there you can see that aren't quite perfect, but it's not as itchy as it used to be. You can see there, there's a little patch there that's not perfect. 
I don't really want to go any further with it just in case, but the other side looks great though. It's just this one's this side here was just way in much worse shape than it was. So if you're not familiar with everything that's been going on with his health, I'll I'll throw up a playlist with all the links to the videos where we talk about his beak and everything else. And that way it'll be a little crash course on that. So this is just a short update. So if you're new to the channel or you're just stumbling on this video, check those videos out. They'll have more explanation. Um, his feathers were... So I did some... This is going to sound a little off topic. But I did some research on older articles of people having toucans in captivity from like the late 70s and 80s just to see if I could learn anything. And obviously we know that they have uh, iron storage issues, but it seems like they may also be prone to protein storage problems, which was also a problem in the 80s, it seems like, because they didn't have, like this dry food over here you see back there, is food that's made for toucans and other birds like toucans that need some protein in their diet and other things like that, but they can't have a lot of iron. And back then they didn't know that, so they fed them, you know, puppy chow or monkey chow or mina food and stuff like that that had high iron parts per million. And a lot of birds died young because of that. So now we know enough about them to have their own food, and that's great. But it seems like maybe that a protein deficiency could have caused the weak development in his feathers and maybe why his wing feathers and tail feathers were breaking so easily because they were really splintered and stuff when I first got him. But he's lost most of his broken or clipped wing feathers and tail feathers. And he's actually growing. You can see one sticking out there, but he's growing his tail feathers back finally, which is fantastic. Um... What else? Here, come here, buddy. So this ring right here, people were asking about, and I originally said I was going to get that taken off. So this band is made out of a thicker material than other bands, so it's going to need some kind of like Dremel or something to take off, and I've just been hesitant to do that because I don't want to stress him out for something that is not necessary. Like, he's not active enough where it's going to get caught on anything and injure him, potentially. Like, Maeve, Maeve doesn't have one because most toucan, most captive toucans now do not have rings at all because they're so active that they can get them caught on something and some birds have lost their legs because of it. Tupac is not active enough for that to make a difference right now, though. So... I've been trying to get him moving and out of the house and in the sun and stuff like that. Obviously, as you guys have seen, and then as well, I have his food over there because I want to encourage him to move to have to go get it. I don't want him to just be sitting still all day and be like a living blueberry disposal where it just like goes in and out and he never moves. Like I don't want that because I want him to be able to exercise his legs and things like that and be active. And some people were concerned about his food being way over there and they think like oh he's being hurt or whatever because he has to go jump over there but it's necessary for to keep him active because I'm also concerned about the fact that he has a high sugar intake in his diet and doesn't move that much I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference with a toucan or not but I don't want to run the risk of it either so I have been weighing him regularly and Maeve both to make sure they're not losing or gaining any weight and um, for the feathers, I've been putting some uh, feather development supplements into his food that you give birds when they're molting, uh, without iron, of course, because a lot of the supplements have iron in them. You have to be careful. But his feathers have grown in a lot shinier and a lot more strong and a lot thicker, I think, in a lot of places. Like this place is kind of bald right here on his leg, you can see, but it's, it's starting to grow and get covered back up. Um, he has some ability to fly now, but it's more of like a short flutter. He may not ever be able to fly again. I'm not sure. We're only time's going to tell how much he can recover. 
unfortunately. But, you know, I'm glad I got him when I did, and I'm glad that we're getting him help as much as possible. And I know he's improved quite a bit, but there's still quite a ways to go, as you all know. And um, it's just, like I've said before, it's just so such a blessing to be able to do this as for a job, do the YouTube channel as a job, and be able to give them as much time as I possibly can, or, you know, even more time than I would have with a normal job or anything else. Uh, I, might, I might not make as much money, but the birds are healthy, and that's what matters the most, you know, and that's what matters the most to me. Um, and I think he's happy. He seems a lot happier. He and I are good friends now. I think he trusts me quite a bit. He doesn't like taking baths, <laughs> but it's something that has to be done every now and then. Maeve will give herself a bath, no problem, but he's kind of like, nah, fam, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I'm not about that. So, but I think, you know, overall he's improved quite a bit, and uh, I'm just excited to get more videos out of him for you guys and get you guys an update. And if you would like more updates more frequently, um, I post to Instagram just about every day so check us out on instagram i'll put a link in the description and if you're interested in helping tupac out we have a patreon also a link in the description we'll have also the credits for the new patrons and the credits here shortly uh, the gofundme for ripley stuff is still up and if you want to donate to that like one time and specify that it's for tupac you can do that as well um you know, every little bit there helps. It would be nice to grow the channel in the future and be able to move to a place where I can accommodate them a little bit better. Like, have big enclosures that maybe have some ability to go both outside and inside so they can get out in the sun for when it's not... Well, I'm in, like, over 100 degrees here lately. But when it's not that hot, you know, I could open the window up, they could go outside, enjoy the sunlight come back in, things like that. Just some plans for the future. You know, I'd like to be able to accommodate more rescued toucans as well. Um, it's been so rewarding having Tupac, and I think I've found a calling and a passion for helping those toucans that just need help. You know, there's not many people willing to help them in captivity. There's, there's not many people willing to help parrots and stuff that people know about, let alone toucans that not many people know about. And that's one of the problems and one of the reasons I don't recommend toucans as pets. And I'm going to do a video about this in the near future. I don't endorse or recommend them as pets. And especially lately, it seems like a lot of people are buying them for clout, which I take partial responsibility for because of the channel. But guys, don't get a toucan. Come on. Like, and, and <laughs> I'm about to go on a rant <laughs> if I don't shut up. But, ugh. So many Instagram accounts and stuff have been popping up, and then, first of all, why would you buy an animal, and then, after you get the animal, start asking questions about it? Like, what do I do? Like, you're supposed to ask that before. Okay, anyways, you know what? I'm not going to go off on that rant right now. <laughs> That's for another time. But, um, what I'm trying to say is people will get toucans, and they get rehomed because they get them, and then six months later go, oh, crap, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. And then, you know, they spent $10,000 on a bird, so they throw them up on wherever for $10,000 or try to sell them for what they bought them for, and nobody wants that. So then they end up getting neglected in their current homes, and then eventually they say, okay, we're going to lower the price to 6000 or something. So then people looking for toucans, and then they say, oh, well, toucans are too expensive. They're ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. And then they see one for $6,000. They're like, oh, let's try this one because it's so much cheaper. And this person just wants to get rid of it because they got it unprepared. And then it's getting passed to another person that's unprepared and not willing to spend the time or money available for one. And the cycle just goes on. And I'm not saying this is what happens with Tupac, but I've seen a lot of birds where this is... It, it's primarily kill bill toucans, I will say that, because they've dropped in price so much. And uh, again, guys, if you really want a toucan, do some research on an Arisari. It's They're a lot more manageable. Toucans just really, I don't know. You know, I hate to say they just shouldn't be pets because obviously I have them. 
but they're not really pets to me. They're more of my family. I mean, I don't really have much else besides them. And my whole life is built around them. You know, you can't you can't get a toucan and expect it to fit within your life. It's kind of the opposite. You have to fit within their life. Like, you have to be accommodating to them. And if you can't do that, then it's not the right animal for you. Go with a, go with a parrot, go with a dog, go with a cat, uh, go with a hamster, you know. Something else that isn't going to end up going into an endless cycle of rehoming where it just gets neglected and it's just it's so sad to me but my point my point before going on that little rant was that um when i see these birds like that like i just my heart sinks for them and i want to be able to give them a home and i think ultimately the goal with the channel is to be able to have some sort of space and accommodation where i can take these toucans that have been forgotten and give them a place to live before it's too late for them so for the most part leave leave the toucans that are captive bred and all that good stuff which there are no wild caught toucans in captivity really anymore because that was banned long ago but leave that to zoos and ambassador programs and things like that where people can experience them at a distance and learn about them and hopefully be inspired to um, help them in the wild, you know, help deforestation and stuff like that. And, um, I don't know. I, I went off on a little tangent there. I apologize. <laughs> I got a little bit fired up, but I care so much about the birds, you know, and I, I want them to have a good home no matter what. And there's so many qualified people out there, but for every qualified person, there's like 20 unqualified people that still get one and it sucks and I hate it. So... <sighs> but hopefully Tupac is good now. Hopefully you're happy. Hopefully you have a long life ahead of you, buddy. Yeah. And hopefully Maeve doesn't give you too much trouble. What are you doing over there, bird? She's got a she's got some water in that litter box. I've been buying those litter boxes so they can take a bath in them because it's. They just love water so much, especially when it's hot like this. So, But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tolerating my rant. Um, if you'd like to hear more rant, let me know, and I'll make a long video that is me ranting and getting emotional. So <laughs> just let me know. But um, again, check us out on Instagram. Check out Patreon, blah, 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 link in the description. We'll do a playlist for Tupac's health also in the description, probably in a card as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.